Mount St. Helens is relatively quiet tonight, but scientists and sightseers are excited by the first clear views of the volcano and its growing lava dome. Channel 2's Jim Hyde has the story. The morning clouds give way to bright sunlight, and the mountain reveals its latest form. This is the kind of day we've all been waiting for. Clear for more than 100 miles, north to Mount Rainier, south to Mount Hood, and even Mount Jefferson in the Oregon Cascades. Moving in from the north, Pilot Drex Hansen gives us a panoramic view of the yawning maw of the volcano, more than one and a half miles across. The Black Mountain set against the snowy white of its sister Cascade Peaks is spectacular enough, but then a sweep into the crater itself for the closest view anyone has had of the mountain building its new dome, well, it's just awesome. The steam and gases continue to rise from the cracking crust of the lava dome, now more than 220 feet high and 600 feet long. The glow of molten rock trying to seep through the cracks is invisible in the brightness of mid-morning, but stood out for the Forest Service aerial observers in the darkness at dawn. As the top of the dome cools, it cracks, changing its face as it grows, fed by molten rock from deep within the earth. Some harmonic tremors were noted again today, but seismologists say those movements are fewer and far weaker than those which preceded the June 12th eruption that spewed ash all over the Northwest. Another concern will be more evident to us after the sun goes down and the full moon rises. Some scientists say gravitational pull of the moon has been a contributing cause in the three major eruptions so far. But for now, the volcano is relatively quiet. In the air above Mount St. Helens, this is Jim Hyde reporting for Channel 2 News. Despite clear skies, the on-again, off-again for ABC News in Dallas. Convicted. The dome inside Mount St. Helens volcano has split open, revealing a reddish glow of molten rock underneath. The glow was spotted by a U.S. Forest Service plane today, thanks to better visibility around the crater. Jim Hyde of affiliate KATU in Portland has more. Above the morning clouds, Mount St. Helens basks in the sunlight. Since the top of the mountain blew away on May 18th, Scientists and sightseers have been waiting for a day like this. The view is unobstructed for more than 100 miles, from Mount Rainier near Seattle to Mount Hood east of Portland. From the north, the mile-wide maw of the volcano is open to the sky. The Black Mountain set against the snowy white of its sister Cascade Peaks is spectacular enough, but then a sweep into the crater itself for the closest view anyone has had of the mountain building its new dome, well, it's just awesome. Steam and sulfurous gases continue to rise from the growing lava dome. Geologists estimate it's 220 feet high and 600 feet across. The glowing of molten rock below the crust is invisible in the light of day, but magma is trying to force its way through cracks in the dome. Seismologists detected harmonic tremors again today, but say they are far weaker than the movements that preceded the last major eruption, June 12th. Above Mount St. Helens, Jim Hyde reporting for ABC News.